Frank Bromley was a gifted artist whose skill in landscape painting would have put him in the ranks of America's premier landscape artists had he not died young. A prodigy, he first exhibited his work in 1873 at the Vienna International Exposition at age 14 and won first prize for drawing, a not inconsiderable accomplishment. In 1882, at age 31, Bromley was one of the youngest American artists ever to have a painting accepted for exhibition at the annual Paris Salon. He made many trips to Niagara Falls and was commissioned by the Michigan Central Railroad to paint a large rendition of the falls, six feet by 10 feet. Young Bromley's untimely death in 1890 of quick consumption, tuberculosis of the lungs, deprived the art world of a talented landscapist whose exquisitely executed works easily rival those of the Hudson River School artists. It is ironic that in the 19th century, tuberculosis was romanticized as a disease of artists, a notion fostered by British poet Lord Byron, who imprudently stated that he would like to die from consumption. This exquisite painting of Niagara Falls not only showcases Bromley's considerable skill as an artist, but the power and majesty of one of America's geologic wonders. <laughs>